Hey, I'm Tatiana. Congratulations on your pregnancy. In my first trimester, I just wanted to stay in bed and I started to feel sorry for myself. I wasn't getting any exercise. I also didn't want to go outside much since we're in the middle of a pandemic. I didn't know what to do or how to start. So I messaged a few of my other friends who are also pregnant and starting their second trimester. And we all realized that we're in the same boat. We needed to make a change. So we all set our own personal fitness goals and sent updates on how we did at the end of the day. This motivated me not only to do the workout for myself, but to also motivate my friends. Now we are on our second week of our workouts and we feel fantastic. In this video, I want to share my own workout routine with you right here on YouTube. I want to give you a simple 15 minute workout that you can do from anywhere. You do not need a yoga mat. You do not need weights or any other equipment. Put your hair back. Wear some comfortable and stretchy clothes, grab a bottle of water, and let's get started. Now the first part of this workout is just to get your heart rate up so that you can get your body moving so that when you start to stretch and everything, you can get rid of all those kinks. So it's just kind of getting your body flowing. So just shake it all out. And now what we're gonna do is wall push-ups. Standing at an angle with your feet planted on the toes. And your knees are slightly bent and you're gonna do as if you were gonna do push-ups on the ground, but this is on the wall. This is to prevent yourself from accidentally falling and then hitting your belly or putting too much pressure. The more at an angle you can go, the harder it's going to be. So just go at your own pace and your own strength. But the goal is to hit 20 push-ups. Now to transition from workout to stretch. So if we're working out the upper body and pushing against the wall, the next part is to stretch your arms. So you take the left arm, pull it over your right shoulder, use your right hand to push it back and push it back as much as it's comfortable, but basically you're gonna feel a good stretch right in here. Then go on the opposite side and then go up and then switch arms. The next exercise is lunges. We're gonna go for 20 lunges and what you're trying to focus on is your form. You can go as slow as you need to, but make sure that you're steadily doing the lunges so that you're not hitting your knee on the ground and you're also getting that bend so that it can work out your upper thighs. It'll work out your butt as well. This is a great workout. It is super challenging, but you will get better as you go along. Try to go for 20, but if you can't do 20, 
you can do 10. And if you think 20 is too easy, you can go up to 30. So really it's at your own pace, but lunges are super important for balancing and it's also great for your back. Here we go, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Good job. Now you can shake off your legs and then turn around towards the wall and then lift your leg so that it almost touches your butt. If you can touch your butt, that's a better stretch. But just hold it for about 10 seconds and then switch legs. You can slightly bend your right or left knee just to have more stability. After lunges, what we'll want to stretch next are our legs. So you can push up against the wall and stretch your calves on each side. Usually I like to count up to 10 seconds for each side. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, 10, and switch to the other side. The third leg stretch you can do is pull up your leg towards you. So now you have a belly in front of you. So you can pull it up to the side of you and try and balance. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. You can use the wall if you need to. Now we've worked on our arms and our legs. The next part is just stretching out our neck. So you'll want to grab one side of your head and pull down towards your right shoulder and count to 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then switch. The other thing is putting your hands behind your head and pulling down and counting to ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Then you can stretch your neck back, just pushing on your under chin and feeling that stretch. It's almost like a crunch right here behind your head and it releases a lot of tension and go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Great, and then you'll want to do neck rolls. So you can go left to right. Go really slowly, just try to focus on how it's rolling around and where it's stretching. If you feel any cracks, that's okay. Just go really slowly so you're consciously aware of what it's doing. You don't wanna get dizzy you just want to try and get a really good stretch. Okay, now let's do shoulders. So you're going to go back, go 10 times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Now, now you're going to go forward. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now we're gonna do lateral raises. So usually I have five pound weights and right now I don't have any weights with me and also I wanna show you that you can do this without weights and it still gives you a workout. So if you go up laterally, one, two, three, four, 
five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Now stretch by extending your hand out with your palm facing outward and pull your bottom fingers towards you with your thumb pushing against your hand so that you can have that stretch. This is a stretch that I learned in Capoeira in Brazil. The next part is abs. So you can lay on the ground if you want to. If you have a yoga mat, you can use it. If you don't, like I don't have one with me right now, I use the bed. So I'll just lay down on the bed. I can put a towel down if I'm worried about sweating. The only thing you don't want to do when you're doing your ab workout is crunching your belly. So what we're going to do are flutter kicks. So lay flat on your back on the bed, lift your legs, and point them out as much as you can, and then flutter kick your legs, and try to do that to 20. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, Whew, you can rest. And then when you're resting, lift up your legs so that it's going around your belly. It's not crunching your belly, it's going like this way. Now roll to your side and let's do side lying leg lifts. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. And you can switch to the other side or continue on to 20. Now let's do side lying crunches. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Now roll over on your other side and continue the count with the leg lifts and the side crunches. When you're done, roll over onto your back and lift your legs to just rest your back and rest your legs and just take a break. Some pregnant women might not find this position comfortable by laying on their back. It's for a short period of time, but you don't want it to last more than five minutes on your back. But if you need to, you can prop yourself up with pillows. The next part you can do is either on a yoga mat, on the ground, which probably wouldn't be that comfortable. You can use pillows on your knees. So these are leg lifts to work out your butt. So you're gonna use your leg and start pushing up. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, 10, and switch legs. The next stretch is remember when I said to go like this with your legs, this is how you're gonna do it, but you're going to lay down with your head down on the bed or on your yoga mat and put your legs out. So you're going to be stretching that inner parts of your thighs and just resting. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now that's it for the workout. You can repeat this workout, you can add some extra stretching or add some other exercises so that you can do these repetitive movements to build muscle. I hope this video is helpful for you. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked this video, give it a thumbs up. You can subscribe to my channel by hitting the subscribe button, but tap the notification bell to all so that you can be notified of the very next one. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Take care.